and uh, it's unfortunate you know, we have to lose uh, the challenge of being the visitors, not to mention the crowd you guys got uh, in the atmosphere, but just not getting the last at bat. So uh, proud of this guy to my right, man. He competed. He gave us a chance, and uh, we put together some offense early, but fell a little flat there uh, at the end. That's a credit to Texas A&M and obviously that really talented bullpen they got. Questions? Gave us a chance, right? I mean, it's, uh, I didn't think his breaking ball command was great. Probably starting to feel it there late and uh, threw, threw a little more pitches than he would have liked. But, you know, we talk about getting off the field. It's just getting off the field. Don't have to be pretty. I was proud of him today because he got off the field. I mean, and, um, you know, they were, they were one hit away from busting this thing open early, and he kept us in it and allowed our offense to, to get it going a little bit and made a great game. Dan, the one thing you could say about your team is consistency. a and had bases loaded in four different occasions. You realize we're able to look out of it. What does that say about your bullpen and more specifically your defense? I think we're very similar to A&M. I mean, they, they like to go to that bullpen and they trust it, and that's the way we are. We, you know, I made maybe a few too many trips. Uh, I'm not used to making that many trips to the mound, but we keep telling these guys we trust them and uh i was really proud of them tonight they gave us a chance i mean it was really it was fun to see and um because yeah i mean they were like i said they were one big swing away from from putting a big crooked number up and uh our bullpen kept us in it a whole lot of fastballs tonight and a lot of swing and misses on fastballs on their side is that something that you saw in the scouting report um, that maybe the high fastball would be a little dangerous no that's just that's just you know, Jared and Prosecchi and just some of our guys. I mean, just pitching to their strengths. They don't um, – I didn't notice Texas A&M swinging and missing a lot in the scouting report. You know, they uh, they had some big two-out hits and they – two strike hits and they moved the ball. And um, it's, a, it's a good – it's a good offense. But like I said, I was really, really pleased with our pitching tonight. Gave us a chance. Do you know who you'll go with tomorrow and make that decision yet? Uh, we haven't yet, so we'll we'll get on the bus and quick turn around, and uh, you know. But you know, as you can see, we 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 ran a lot of guys out tonight. You know, not saving anybody, and and I like that we went to Prosecchi. You know, even in a tie game, I, this is like a weekend series. You hate those weekend series where your your closer doesn't pitch. You know, and we made a decision. We got a chance to win this game. We got to get him out there. So he gave us a chance. This, this time of year, it's all about really is a game of inches. What did you see on, on Levi's player at center? I mean, at first glance, I thought he had it. Yeah, as uh, Jared will tell you, um, we're spoiled. You know, we, we expect him to to catch everything. Um, and sometimes, you know, the bar is so high, we get frustrated when it'll be a routine hit or, or that, that ball could be 10 feet over the fence for all I know. But we expect Levi to catch everything, you know, and that's a credit to him and just what we've seen over the last few years. Um, but I would say if he can't catch it, I don't know if anybody can. Jared, what did you see from the start, uh, start of A&M uh, batting on it to where maybe he made the message to tomorrow's start? Will you say that again? What did you see from the top of that order from Texas A&M's lineup that maybe he made to the start of the turn tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, the top of their lineup was definitely really talented. Um, I wish I made them earn it a little more. I don't know how many walks I had exactly, but I feel like I was definitely out of the zone a lot. But I think they, they're all really talented, and um, they didn't really chase off speed. That, were, that was out of the zone, so that was kind of a credit to them too. But I thought they, they looked good. Jared, how did, your, how did, um, how did um, other players, um, you know, during those long innings where you get your bases loaded and then get out of the jam, um, how would your teammates like, keep you going in those innings? And just like what was going through your mind trying to stay focused with the fans getting, getting so loud and rowdy? Yeah, I mean, in between innings, I had several teammates come up to me and just say, keep going, stuff, just little stuff like that. So um, just knowing my team has my back is definitely a key factor to make me want to go back out there and do my do my best for the team, basically. basically. So, yeah. Anything else? Coach, only pitching smelts uh, for one batter. Uh, was that a decision maybe made to see, uh, to see him again tomorrow? Um, it's a good question. I, I wouldn't say we... we used anybody with the mindset of saving somebody for tomorrow. I mean, you know, it's all hands on deck, and you got a chance to win game one. 
Um, we, we just it was just matchups. It was just good matchups, and Smeltz was a good matchup for that guy, and we felt like Galvan was a good matchup. So it didn't it wasn't scripted, um, but yeah, there's several guys that you would think could bounce back tomorrow and or Sunday uh, if we get that opportunity. Coach, you've been to Omaha before, and you've seen crowds like those in the past. Like when you look at a crowd like tonight's game. Is that something similar to what you could expect in the College World Series? And more specifically, have you ever been in a Super Regional with a crowd such as this? I think it's it's different than Omaha because Omaha is, you know, you, you say neutral. There's obviously certain fan bases that have earned the right to create a home field atmosphere um, because they take the time and the money and, and they get out there. Um, so this is, I think, is much different than Omaha. I mean, this is obviously the advantage of being the national seed. Um, we would have liked to have been the national seed, but we weren't. We weren't chosen that. So, you know, my job as a coach, prepare these guys throughout the year. We go into some hostile environments, and, you know, I always say, hey, we might have to travel for a regional or we might have to travel for a super regional, and it's just part of it, you know. Eight teams got to go on the road, and, and you got to overcome, you know. So I thought our guys did enough. We were close, you know, maybe one swing away, and we had a chance to overcome, so. I'm anxious to see us play tomorrow. You know, now knowing, knowing what we know and having seen it uh, in person in hand, I'd like to think they're going to enjoy it even more. I mean, it's a, it's a great atmosphere. Coach Jared, thank you all. You, you bet. Thank you, rest. guys. Yep.